and hello everyone welcome back to another flask tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about blueprints now a blueprint you could see as a template just something that you don't have to constantly add the same details to your already existing routes over and over again and we'll be talking about that in today's tutorial so here we just have a basic route. This just takes us to our home page. Now let's say we want to add another route, which is in slash admin. Now first off, we could just go at app dot route, then you can go slash admin. Okay, that's understandable. Now here we go define admin and just return. This is the admin page there we go pretty simple right now we have our admin page now we want to add a bunch of pages to this admin page okay so go like this and let's say this is slash ban to ban users and this one can be slash login if they need to log in there we go now we have more pages but already this one file is already becoming a little bit full and there's only four routes so what we could do, first of all, is we could move this route into a different file. So let's go here, new file, admin.py. Now we can just say, we don't want you here, we're gonna take you, and all the admin routes, we're going to put you inside of this admin file here. But now, every time that we want to go here and create a new route, we have to go like this, and we have to make sure we have this admin here first. And then we have to change what's after it. We can change that as well. And we can do it with blueprints. So let's go and just say from flask import blueprint. And we can just say admin page is equal to a blueprint admin. So this will be the name of the blueprint and just underscore underscore name. And in our static folder, because sometimes you want a specific route to always go and use a specific folder. In this case, we can just say static, because we just want to use the general static route. And if you want to change the template folder, so where the templates are found, you can change it here as well. In this case, we can just say templates. Now, instead of saying app.route, we can say admin page.route. And now instead of saying slash admin, slash admin, slash ban, slash admin, slash login, we can remove this slash admin by just doing this. And now it's like normal routes. However, it does have this slash admin here at the front. And of course, you will have to give these different names. I'm just going to give it random names. It doesn't really matter that much. Now what we can do is we can bring this to our app.py and we can just say app.register blueprint admin page and we can just say from admin import admin underscore page and we can just say url prefix is equal to slash admin this means all of the urls that exist inside of here instead of admin page they will have slash admin before so slash admin like this slash admin it's just we don't have to specify that we just say here all of them that uses this admin page will have slash admin before and just like that we have cleaned up our code a lot and made it much easier to make specific routes do specific things. If we were to go here and just say if run to run our code, then here, hello, this is the home page. If we go to slash admin, then this is the admin page. If we go to admin slash delete, this does not exist. However, if we go to admin ban, this does exist. All of them now start with slash admin. And you can do this with as many of these pages 
as you want. So let's say you have one for videos. So videos.py. Now all you do is you just copy this, paste it here. Instead of admin page, you go videos page. And instead of admin, you just say videos. And here you can just say videos. And let's just say this one just has a slash upload. So videos slash upload. And we can just go video here. Now what we can do is we can go back to app.py, register a new blueprint, videos page that comes from videos import videos page. And you just say slash videos. Now these videos will also be registered. So if we were to go here and just say videos, Oh, not found. We might just want to restart the server. Now, if we, uh, it's actually because we should, it's not slash videos, it's slash videos, slash upload. There we go. And in video here. So this is an awesome way to modify how your thing should work. And here you could say the static folder shouldn't be called static. It should be called plip plop. And the templates folder should be called videos templates as easy as that and now all of the routes that falls underneath this will have these values assigned to it so the static folders will be called plip plop and the template folder will be video templates instead of just templates this is just a very basic overview of blueprints in our project we will actually be working a bit more with it thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all again in the next Flask tutorial.